they block arrows? The shields do. Oh, that's good to know, actually. Okay. I'll make one as soon as possible. How do I, how do I make a shield? Blocks any damage so as long as you use it? Okay, we'll do that. All right, hello there, mortals. I am Jensen, and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft. We are going back through the grinder in a brand new world. I'm going to call this one um, in memory of the last gameplay that uh, we we just had. Um, tight, tightened sphincter. Right, that probably makes the most sense, and we'll put a space in between that as well, so it's easier to read. Great. So we want to play on Hardcore. Right here, and we're going to go back in. It's in the crafting book. Excellent. Oh, this is already so much nicer to look. Oh, yuck. Bunch of jungle crap all around the place, though. And a ship. There is actually a sunken ship just over there. Okay, good. Nice. Brand new world. It's another day, another world. Let's go and look for a village to ransom. What the hell is this? Melons! Oh, yes. I love melons. This feels good, actually. Melons are really, really good sources of food, too, because you get heaps of them at once. So as soon as we set up a base, we're going to have to start planting some of these melons, which means we have to turn some of them into seeds, which we are going to have to plant a little bit in advance. But we should have basically unlimited food by this point, because melons are kind of overpowered. I know, th I remember that from last time I played this. Break all the melons? Oh, I will. Believe me, I will break all the melons. That's, that's, uh, that's my name in the bedroom, is uh, Melon Breaker. Okay, so, coming around here, let's see what else we have to work with. What the hell is that? Is that cocoa? Oh, it is! Nice! Uh, can we plant this? Cocoa beans. I don't know if we can plant cocoa beans, but I remember that uh, cocoa goes into chocolate, right? Not from the game. Uh, uh, this is from real-life experience. Gilded mer melons are very overpowered. What is a gilded melon? Is that just kind of like an escort, but really, really expensive? What is this? What in the god roll have we found here? Oh, there's some plains over there with some mountains. I still kind of like the idea of recessing a base into a mountainside. But this time I'm, I'm not going to keystone it or anything like that. We're just going to find one and opportunistically take it. It's weird that when you find ores and, uh, and a, a decent spot to start mining, like, I don't know, right here, before you punch a tree down. That is a really, really unusual order of, of playing the game. You can plant it into jungle logs. Oh, right, the cocoa. Oh, cool. A melon surrounded by golden nuggets. Right, so that's why we need so many nuggets, I assume. I meant... Oh, that is a nice wood. Let's start busting these down. I like how the wood looks. Let's take these. What are these? Why didn't I get any wood from... Oh, I see. It's on the other side. What kind of wood is this? Acacia. Yes. I love this. Okay, we're getting the acacia strain. With Vincent Bennett. Remember it's used for healing potions and therefore damage potions? I don't understand the connection. Is there actually a connection between uh, when you heal and damaging enemies passively? Or is it just like, when you're healing, you can do damage? Because I, I gotta say, you're probably actually right. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to craft a bed this time. Okay, so one of these has to immediately be turned into a crafting bench. Like so. Good. And we also need a sword of some sort. I'm going to kind of like hold on to the hope that, oh, that'd be a great place to put a base. Look at that. Are we all seeing this? I just look for caverns. What is going on around here? I kind of want the, the base to overlook a really, really nice kind of portion of the map, though. Oh, my God. Again, death. What is down there? Death. It's just death. It's all death. Okay, we need to find some sheep, and we're not going to find any sheep in this uh, kind of, like, savannah area, I don't think. <sighs> you throw the potion and it deals damage? It works like this? Okay. What the hell is that? Is that an armadillo? An armadillo? Hey, buddy. What's your name? I'm Gibson. Have you subbed? Do you want some melon? Too bad. It's mine. My melon. You have a positive potion and a fermented spider eye. Okay, you mix them in the potion. Sorry, I've got to look for holes in the floor that could send me spiraling to my death. You mix them on the potion stand. You get the negative counterpart of that potion. Right. Wait, so you can craft armor for wolves. How about we get a base before we start thinking about taming dogs? It's probably a good idea, right? 
I also really, I, I have a vision for this place right here. I'm certain we can make a really good base. Sticking out of here. I hear another armadillo. On top of that, there's also sheep here, which we need to murder to get the wool for a bed because we need to sleep through the night. Otherwise, we're going to get ganked really, really quickly, like crazy fast. Okay, let's put this down and we'll see if we can't make some, whoops, nope, some planks right here, acacia planks. Uh, let's make some sticks right here and then we're going to turn this into a sword. Nice. And using the sword, we are going to murder three sheep. No more, no less, because we need the wool. Maybe we'll get more wool from one sheep. Maybe one sheep won't drop any wool. Hard to tell. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. If we recess our base into here, and then we've got like a glass floor that just overlooks this gigantic chasm. Would that be sick or what? Like, we won't mine this area out whatsoever unless to uh, get the, the low-hanging fruit. We'll just kind of like, we'll go down. We'll get the low-hanging fruit, and we'll put our base here. This is where we will put it. Yes. Hello there, sheepy. Uh, I'm actually going to try and get a nice Hitman environmental kill on this guy. Whoop. Uh, or not. Awesome. We found some wool, which is just fabulous. Whoa, look at all the sheep up here. It's like they're farming themselves. Okay, we gotta like, we gotta jump on top of them, right? That's how we gotta, that's how we gotta kill these sheep. Where'd they go? There. There we go. There's one. And jump attack. Oh, it was close enough. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, you'll be fine. It's a tough world. It's a tough world, little sheep. <laughs> he did not care whatsoever. Uh, I'm also going to kill this one. I, I want its meat. We actually want some meat. We want some consistent food. We only have a stack of melons, and they only do an HP bar per, per munch. Which is maybe not amazing. So let's just get a little bit of food straight off the bat. We don't necessarily need sheep. Good. Okay, I'm happy with all of this. Nice. I made spreadsheet of every major automation step possible in Minecraft to help you with this series. That would be absolutely fantastic, Scott. I love that so much. I love, I love spreadsheets. In fact, you're actually probably going to love the... Um... Oh, I shouldn't spoil it. I've got a little project. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, thank you so much for watching right up here you're gonna find the playlist for minecraft java edition and right up here you're gonna find another playlist that i think you'd really enjoy down in the description of this video you're gonna find a link to my discord where you can talk to me and my community at your leisure and of course thank you so much for watching and goodbye